All right, you have to be with me because we're going to do this together, okay? Yes. Oh, man. Okay. It's not what I hope. Hay que estar pendiente porque necesito su ayuda, okay? Amen. That's a nice try. Nice save. Well, that was out. I don't know. I can't do sports. Sorry. All right. La, la escritura de esta mañana, ups, un momento. One second. Señor, que las palabras de mi boca y la meditación de mi corazón sean una ofrenda agradable para ti. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be a pleasant offering to you. Amen. Amen. All right, let's start again. The passage for today, what is it? What is the passage of today? ¿Qué narra? Is it narrating? I told you you don't have to help me. John 1, 3, 5, 3, 2. Well, okay, funny. <laughs> what does he name, narrate? ¿Qué narra? Yes. Nice. The, I need to bring those chocolates. I will one day. But we can't just record it over and put it on face. Anyway. Es uh, el llamado a los discípulos. The call of the first disciples, right? Yes, thank you. And then last week we talked about, do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan que hablamos la semana pasada? The baptism of Jesus. So the beginning of this passage, or the section right before this passage, is different gospel, but also the baptism of Jesus. La parte ahí de este mismo capítulo, antes de esta sección, es el bautismo de Jesús, que hablamos la semana pasada, pero en el otro evangelio, en el de Mateo. But it's still, you know, the baptism of Jesus. And so, you know, we were talking about how it is seen by many as Jesus's you know, uh, inauguration of ministry, right? Hablamos de cómo para muchas personas esa es la iniciación del ministerio de Jesús. Eh, ese bautismo es una, un public display, ¿verdad? Un símbolo público que todo el mundo podía ver. Now, we're, we're being told that Jesus is approaching John baptizing, right? What happens? No? Okay. So it's right there. Alright, John 1, come with me. Vayan conmigo, Juan 1. Lo que pasa es que Juan lo ve bajando y dice, mira el Cordero de Dios. Right? Uh, John sees him and he says, look, the Lamb of God. And, you know, there's a lot of other things in there about the sacrificial aspects of being called the Lamb of God. Right? Hay otros aspectos que están envueltos en el significado de llamarlo el Cordero de Dios. Los aspectos the sacrificio. But right now I'm going to talk about, about something else. So I'm going, to, I'm going to gloss over that. These two people, two of the people um, who witnessed John saying, this is the son of God, the Lamb of God, what happens with two of them? They follow Jesus, right? One calls the, the brother, right? The other is like, hey, let's go, right? They recognized Jesus, look, the Lamb of God, the two disciples who were disciples of John, eran discípulos de Juan, they drop what they're doing and they follow Jesus. Sueltan lo que están haciendo y siguen a Jesús. Now, this is a shift that we see in their identities, right? Es un cambio de identidad. Ya no son los discípulos de Juan, son los discípulos de, de Jesús. They're no longer John's disciples, they're Jesus' disciples, right? And then, we have, you know, I love me some cryptic Jesus. I do. Me encanta Jesús así cuando es medio críptico, pero no se sabe lo que está diciendo bien. Bottom line is that these two are following, and Jesus is like, what are you looking for? But that's my, that's my tone. Like, why are you following me? Right? Uh, Jesús le dice, ¿qué está buscando? Cuando estos dos lo siguen, ¿qué está buscando? And so, you know, before I go on, I want us to think about what we are looking for. Quiero que pensemos qué es lo que estamos buscando antes de que continuemos. Ponga de aquí en una esquinita de la mente. Put it in a little corner of your mind as we keep talking about this. What are you looking for? So these men follow. They say, they ask him, where are you staying? Le preguntan, ¿dónde te estás quedando? ¿Qué le dice Jesús? What did Jesus say? Come and see. There's a song, come and see. Well, anyway. 
um, come and see. Cuando, cuando eh, lo, los discípulos le preguntan, ¿dónde te estás quedando? Jesús le dice, ven y ve, ¿verdad? Ven y mira tú mismo. All right. These two disciples come and what happens? How long do they stay? Right. And so the fact that they tell us the time, sabemos que se quedan un rato, pero lo verán hasta las cuatro, dice. They said to four in the afternoon. The importance here is to let you know that they didn't just hang out for an hour and left. They stayed there. The English version says they remained. Right? Se quedaron. La importancia es que no solamente fueron un ratito de visita. Bueno, visita de hispana, mejor, porque nos quedamos. Maybe, maybe Hispanic visit, because we just linger, right? We just hang out. Maybe that's what it is. For una fiesta. They remained with Jesus. Se quedaron con Jesús. These are the first documented followers of Jesus, right? Tenemos los primeros dos seguidores documentados de Jesús. Bueno, documentados en la Biblia, ¿no? Eso es otro aspecto que no quería decir. This encounter with Jesus, this call to discipleship, has a change of identity, right? Starts with a change of identity. Este llamado al discipulado comienza con un cambio de identidad, ¿verdad? Ya no sigues a Juan, ahora sigues a Jesús. You're no longer John's follower, you're Jesus' follower. A change in identity, un cambio en identidad. Because the reality is that any disciples of John has to shift their allegiance to Jesus because it's supposed to be the ones, John is supposed to be the one showing the way toward Jesus, right? Tienen que ser, si son buenos seguidores de Juan, tienen que dejar a Juan e irse con Jesús porque Juan estaba apuntando el camino para Jesús, right? So there's a shift in identity that's really more grounded. I'm not just following the messenger that was going to tell us about Jesus. We're following Jesus. No estamos siguiendo el mensajero que nos habla de Jesús. Estamos siguiendo a Jesús. This is why I'm lifting this up. Yours and my identity is not based on earthly leaders. Do you see where I'm going? La identidad de nosotros y de nosotras no está en los líderes a quien seguimos. Nuestra identidad está en ser seguidores de quién? Jesús. Our identity is in being followers of whom? Of Jesus Christ. So Jesus says, Come and see. Jesus le dice, Vente para que veas. There's a second thing that happens here. There's an identity, and then when they come and see, they become witnesses, right? Cuando ven y ven, ellos van y ven, se convierten en testigos. They're witnessing Jesus and Jesus' work. First hand, first eye, I guess. Están siguiendo, experimentando, siendo testigos del trabajo de Jesús ahí ellos mismos, directamente. They're not just, they don't only have their identity as followers, they have their identity as followers who remain and witnesses. Su identidad no es solamente seguidores, son seguidores que se quedan y son testigos de la obra de Jesús en el mundo. And this is important because, let me ask you, have you seen God's work in your life? ¿Han visto ustedes el trabajo de Dios en su vida? Amen. ¿Sí? Yes. Have you seen God's work in the people around you? Yes? ¿Has visto el trabajo de Jesús Cristo en la gente alrededor tuyo? ¿Sí? Okay. ¿Qué tal la iglesia? What about church? Have you seen? I hope so. Yeah. We got bigger issues. Otherwise. ¿Han visto? ¿Verdad? ¿Han, ¿Han sido testigos del mover de Jesús, el Espíritu de Dios en la iglesia? ¿Verdad? Yo espero que sí. If you haven't seen it in a while, in a minute, or in a day, Jesus is saying, come and see. It's happening. You have to come and see it. Witness it. Si no lo has visto, Jesús te dice, ven y velo. And if you have seen it, the call is to remain. You see what I'm saying? Y si sí lo hemos visto, el llamado es a permanecer. Permanezca para, lo que, lo, para que lo sigamos 
viendo para que podamos seguir siendo testigos. Remain so that we may continue to be witnesses. Do we have more bills and less pay? Remain. ¿Verdad? Más piles, más piles, menos, menos paga. Nos permanecemos también. Do we have good president or a bad president? We remain. Buen presidente o mal presidente, permanecemos. Are you married or divorced? Remain. Casado, divorciado, permanezca. Happy or sad? Feliz o contento, contento, permanezca. Remain. Whether you have the same pastor or a new pastor, you remain. Aunque tenga un pastor igual o uno nuevo, permanecemos. Because our call is not to be followers of a person, but to follow Jesus. Amen. Porque el llamado no es a ser discípulos de una persona, es ser discípulos de quién? De Cristo. I'm so thirsty. Our identity is not based on circumstances and things that happen to us. It's based on Jesus. Nuestra identidad no está basada, basada en las circunstancias y las cosas que nos pasan. Nuestra identidad está basada en Cristo. And as followers who remain, we accept the call to discipleship and to follow and to witness the Christ that is being revealed to us. Como seguidores que permanecen, estamos aceptando el llamado a seguir y ser testigos de Cristo. El Cristo que está siendo revelado todo el tiempo. If we pay attention, we can see that revelation that is constantly happening. you believe it? I hope so. Yo espero que sí, que lo creamos todas y todos. Cuando Andrés aprendió se dio cuenta de que Jesús era el Cristo, ¿qué hizo? When Andrew learned that Jesus is the Christ, what did he do? He called his brother. Llamó a su hermano, ¿verdad? Now, what do we call that today? ¿Cómo llamamos eso? ¿Cómo le decimos ahora? ¿Qué nombre tiene esa acción? What do we call that? Evangelism. ¿Sí no lo es? Yes, yes, no. ¿Sabían qué es lo que significa evangelizar? Ves a tu hermano y le dice, mira, este es el Mesías. This is... and, and let me tell you, this is literally, literally what they did, right? What he did. Now, he said, this is the Messiah. Before I go on, right? What is Messiah? ¿Qué es Mesías? ¿Qué significa? ¿Cristo? Okay, so you're, I need somebody to speak up. ¿El qué? The chosen one, there's a word I'm looking for. Do you know? El Savior. ¿Quién lo dijo? Savior. The little word, Christ, right? La palabra Cristo significa Salvador. Now, isn't that something, a message on its own? Es un mensaje por sí solo, ¿verdad? Vente, vamos a ver al Salvador. Come, let's see the Savior, the Deliverer. Rapidito. ¿De qué Dios lo ha salvado? Real quick, tell me one word. What has God saved you? From what has God saved you? ¿De qué Dios te ha salvado? Así una palabra, dígame. ¿Accidentes? ¿De la muerte eterna? Depression. Depression? Depresión? Health? Well, yes, I got you. Yes. De la, nos ha dado, nos salva de la enfermedad. It's okay, I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you. For me, Jesus Christ has saved me from isolation. And this is why I bring it up all the time. Para mí, yo puedo ver la mano de Dios claramente cuando he sido salvada del aislamiento. Because I was isolated from my family because of distance, from my friends because of distance, and because it's hard to keep up with friends Um, who don't do the stuff that you do, right? Entonces estaba aislada de mis amistades porque es difícil mantenerse conectado cuando ya estamos haciendo cosas diferentes en la vida. And then I realized that this meant that I was detached from myself. I was not grounded. You know what I'm saying? También me di cuenta que eso significaba que estaba aislada de mí misma. No, no podía estar cimentada, no tenía... Ese, ese pilar como tenemos en el centro que sabemos quién somos y a dónde vamos 
that kind of certainty about who you are, where you come from, where you're going, I didn't have that. But it turns out that all of those things had to do with being isolated from God. Pero me di cuenta que todo eso tenía que ver porque estaba aislada de Dios. I knew God was there. Yo sabía que Dios estaba ahí. I believed in God. Yo creía en Dios. Pero me sentía aislada. Estaba lejos. Notice, I'm not saying God was far from me. I was far from God. No estoy diciendo que Dios estaba lejos de mí. Yo estaba lejos de Dios. No lo reconocía, no podía ver. I couldn't recognize God's work in the world. I couldn't see it anymore. And I would say to God, you know what? I'm not going to mess with you. Just leave me alone and I'll leave you alone. I literally said that. Yo le decía a Dios, no me voy a, no, no me voy a meter en el camino tuyo, solamente no te metas en el mío. And I realized that that isolation from God was isolating me from everything else. Y esa separación de Dios me estaba separando de todo lo demás. We are, have not been called to a ministry of isolation. Don't you think? No hemos sido llamado ministerio de aislamiento. From the beginning, we have two brothers following Christ. En el principio, tenemos dos hermanos siguiendo a Jesús. And I know that that word evangelism is hard. We don't really like it as much. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> La palabra evangelismo a veces no nos gusta mucho. No la queremos decir mucho porque it sounds too, you know? You know what I'm saying? It is simple. It is simple. Share the good news of Christ. You don't have to scold nobody. You don't have to judge anyone. You share the ways that you have seen God in your life. No tenemos que regañar a nadie. No tenemos que juzgar a nadie. Compartimos las formas en que nosotros hemos visto el trabajo de Dios en nuestras vidas. Now let me, let me ask you, how many of you have either shared or heard somebody tell you about a new diet recently? ¿Cuándo has escuchado a alguien recientemente, digo, has escuchado a alguien recientemente compartir una dieta contigo, decirte, esta dieta está buenísima, right? Look at these pills, they're going to help you lose that belly fat. Give it to me. Mira esta pastillita que te van a ayudar a bajar la pipa. Right? ¿Qué más? You know what I'm talking about. Ooh, what have you been watching on Netflix? Let me tell you about it. Right? ¿Qué estás viendo en Netflix? Déjame decirte. Déjame enseñarte de este programa. ¿Verdad? Look at this nail polish. I do this. Look at my jail nails. I did it myself. See what I'm saying? Mira, mira las uñas. Yo le hice. Mira, ¿cuál es la novela que estás viendo? Tell me what soap are you watching right now. Have you heard this song? This is me too. Have you heard this song? Let me play it for you. No? Escucha esta canción que te la voy a poner. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't go around saying, the shows you watch are horrible. Let me give you this. You know what I'm saying? Tú no vas a donde alguien le dice, esa televisión que tú ves es una porquería. Déjame darle una. Vete esto. You see what I'm saying? That's the difference. You just share. You know what? I'm so glad that God has saved me from disease. I'm so glad God has saved me. You know? That's it. There's nothing fancy. No hay nada fancy que te fancy. ¿Viste la palabra? No hay nada fancy. That's not real word. <laughs> Spanglish. We call it Spanglish. <laughs> Spanglish. Elegante. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You and I, you and me, are here because of evangelism. La realidad es que usted y yo estamos aquí por evangelismo, ¿no? Somebody told you, or you were curious, and then you told somebody else. Alguien le contó. Alguien le dijo. Usted tenía curiosidad y vino. You see what I'm saying? They were curious, and they followed. Jesus was like, what are you looking for? They followed, and they remained. Y había curiosidad. Siguieron a Jesús y se quedaron. That's all it takes. You come and see, and then you will remain. Cuando vengas y veas, te vas a quedar. La revelación de Dios al mundo, este encuentro con Jesús, es un llamado al discipulado que incluye un cambio de identidad. Cuando nos convertimos en seguidores de Cristo y nos convertimos en testigos que evangelizan. You see how it all comes together? No, you haven't, because I'm going to tell you in English now. A revelation of God to the world. This encounter that, that we see with Jesus. It's a call to discipleship. 
and it includes a shift in identity from being a follower of Christ to becoming a witness who remains and evangelizes. Evangelism is to share the gospel, literally, right? Literalmente la palabra significa compartir el evangelio. The point I'm trying to make, one of them, is that a revelation from God is a call to discipleship, an ongoing thing. It's not a moment, flashy, glittery, magical salvation day, and that's it. No es, este caminar con Jesús te llamaba discipulado, o esta revelación es más que un, un episodio con, con escarcha y magia y nubes y cosas donde estamos salvos una vez. Es una cosa que tiene que pasar de seguido. Es un caminar. It's a walk with Jesus. Where we get to be witnesses. Where we get to see hope and joy and love and peace. Esto es un caminar en el que tenemos el privilegio de ser testigos de, de la esperanza, de la paz, del gozo, del amor que viene de Jesús. And then we have the chance, the opportunity to share that with the people around us. Y lo mejor de todo es que tenemos la oportunidad de compartir esa experiencia con los demás alrededor de nosotros, whether they be friends or co-workers, the person at the grocery store. When you have seen jo joy and hope and peace, you can't help but share it. Cuando realmente somos testigos de la esperanza, del amor y del gozo de Dios, no hay otra que compartirla. No hay más, no nos queda más nada. And like Jesus did to these two disciples, como Jesús le dijo a los discípulos, I want to ask you, what are you looking for here? Te quiero preguntar, ¿qué estás buscando? Como dijo que como Jesús lo hizo. Come and see what happens when you remain. Ven y mira lo que pasa cuando permanecemos. Amen. 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 Amen.